everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. Good morning, Miss. Waalaikumsalam. Hello, Miss. Okay. Hello, Ibnu. How do you feel today, Ibnu? How is your feeling today? Uh, are you feeling funny, Miss? You're feeling funny. Okay, thank you, Ibnu. I hope you can radiate your happiness with the class. Uh, now, Riri. Riri, how do you feel today, Riri? I'm hungry, Miss, today. I haven't had my breakfast yet. Oh, my God. You haven't taken your breakfast yet? Yes, Miss. Okay, I think you can you can uh, take some water, Riri, to reduce the hungry in your the hungriness in, in you. So you can you can use your brain, you can you can get some energy to think in our science class today. Okay, Riri. Okay, Miss. Thank you, okay. Miss, for the suggestion. Okay, okay. Uh since it seems like all of you is very ready to start the class. Now we will start the class by praying together to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of uh Allah blessing we can meet today in uh, today's science class so i will lead the praying sessions let's pray together the pray begin okay finish okay guys now i will do a roll call if you're here, please say, yes, miss, I'm here. Or you can say, ay, ay, captain. So you can feel uh, energetic to start the class today. Now, uh, Roshan, Roshan, are you here? Ay, ay, captain. Okay, thank you, Roshan. Uh, Chantik, are you here, Chantik? Ay, ay, Captain. Okay, thank you, Chantik. Uh, Chantik, is it possible for you to turn on the camera? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss. I cannot open my camera because my laptop is error now. Okay, that's okay, Chantik. And for the other, okay, uh, thank the you, other students, if it's possible for you to turn on the camera, please turn on the camera. But if it's not possible for you to turn on the camera, you may chat in the uh, Zoom chat. Okay, Ibnu, are you here, Ibnu? Hi, hi, Miss. Okay, no, Anazar, are you here, Anazar? Hi, hi, Captain. Hi, hi, Captain. Okay, Riri, are you here? Hi, hi, Captain, I'm here. Okay, Jane, are you here, Jane? <laughs> Why are you loving? Okay, maybe Jan is very happy. Jen is here and she is very happy to start the class today. Okay, so since everyone is here, uh, we can start the class. But before we start the class, I'd like to ask you uh, about, the the, about the thing that you have learned previously. So a class, we know that we have learned about Newton's law in uh, last year in your science class. Uh, do you still remember about the Newton's law? Yes, miss. Okay, Chantik, so you still remember about the Newton's law. Can you share to your class uh, what do you what did you learn last year in Newton's law? What is the principle of Newton's law? And also what anything you, you learned in the class? Uh I'm just remember about the formula, miss. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay, for first Newton's law, the formula. Uh, what I remember is sigma f equals to zero. And for the second uh, Newton's law, the formula is sigma f equals to mass times acceleration. And for the third Newton's law, the formula mm -hmm. is, uh, I'm just, I'm just remember the formula of the principle, which is uh, f action equals to every action okay thank you chanti that's that's very excellent for you that's you have you have a strong uh, memory now class uh, before uh, since previously in the grade 7 you already learned about force now we will learn something that is us that is correlated with the force we will learn about work so on today's uh, today's science class 
you will uh, do an experiment, also a discussions and lecturing with me. And after conducting this class, you are expected to explain, you're expected to be able to explain about the concept of work, to, able, to be able to differentiate uh, the, the daily activities that is considered in considered as work. You will be able to calculate the amount of work when specific force is done, and you will be able to calculate the distance of the object uh, that is given a work. You will be able, to, and you'll be able to analyze the possible distances of object that is given a work according to the pattern. Okay, class, now can you see the screen? Is my screen up here in your device? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay, wait, before I share, do you prefer it to be like this or do you prefer it to be full screen? So I present the screen to you in full screen mode. Uh, maybe, maybe full screen is better, miss. Okay, maybe full screen is better, but I don't think my device can do that. I'm sorry, Jane. Okay. okay, no problem, Miss. Okay, miss. Okay. okay, class, on today's science class with Miss Nabil, with me, I'd like to show you a video. Um, okay, can you see this picture? Yes, Miss. Yes. Okay, yes, miss. so does any of you have seen these pictures or this video? And does any of you know who is the person in this video? Uh, I don't know because she wear mask. Miss. Oh, okay. You don't know because she wear mask. Okay. Any of you other than Jane? I know her. Okay. Okay, Rajan. So, who do you think this uh, this person is? Is it Paula Verhoeven? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Rajan. So yeah, you're right. Uh, this lady, this pretty lady, is Paula or the wife of Baim Wong. Uh, but on today's science class, we won't talk about her relationships with Baim Wong. We won't talk about Paula, but instead we will talk about what Paula do in this video. So I'll show you the video and please observe the video. Okay. Can you see it? Uh, yes, miss. Okay, please watch this video. Wow. Okay, class. Now I'd like to ask you, have you uh, watched the video? Yes, miss. Okay, now I'd like to ask you, can you uh, guess what happens in this video? May I, miss? Sure, Jane. Uh, I think she pushed the cart. Okay, you think she's pushing the cart? Thank you, Jane, for the opinion. Any any other opinion other than Jane? I think she is working, Miss. Okay, so Riri think Paula is working in this video. So, um, Riri, if I say that uh, that Paula is working by pushing the cart. Uh, do you agree with that? Pretty agree, Miss, because it looks like that. Okay, thank you, Riri. So, Riri and me think that Riri and I think that Paula is working by pushing cart. So actually, uh, right, uh, what Riri uh, said is right that uh, that Paula is doing some work by pushing the cart. The work here is work in terms of the language one, the literature one, and also the physics one. Laura indeed do some work uh, in this video. Now, students, before uh, since previously I thought I mentioned about work, do you have uh, any opinion about what work is actually? What work actually is in physical in physics? I mean. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss. Uh, I still don't know. Okay, so that's okay, Jane. So Jane said that Jane still don't know about the work. That's okay. Worry not, because on today's class, we will learn about work. We will find out more about work. So you can answer my questions, uh, my question that I have mm -hmm. stated previously to you. 
Okay. Okay, class, because I have promised you before that we will learn about work and we will find out more about work. We will do an experiment, a very interesting experiment using virtual lab uh, path simulations. So have you have you got the worksheet I uploaded on our Google Drive? I mean our Google Classroom. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay, so as uh, it said on the worksheet, on today's class, on today's class experiment, we will uh, use the RAM simulations from Fat Colorado. So you can see in these pictures, in I mean in this in my screen, this is the virtual lab that we will use for today's class. Uh, there is so many features in this. There, there, there are so many features in this virtual lab. Wait a second. Okay, okay, okay. okay, uh, okay class, as I've promised you before that we will find out more about work using the experiments. So on today's science class experiment, we will use the simulations from path simulations. Uh, we will use a uh, virtual lab, the RAM. And for the worksheet, have you got the worksheet that I have uploaded last night in our Google Classroom? Yes, miss. Okay, so now you may open the worksheet and or maybe you may download for the one that hasn't got the worksheet. And in the meantime, I will explain about the RAM simulations. So in RAM simulations, there are so many features in this virtual lab. But in today's activity, we will focusing more on observing the work done to a specific objects. Uh, when you open the, when you first open the virtual lab, there will be some features. This will be the one that you will see in your screen when you first open the virtual lab. And since we will be focusing on work, you may minimize this the features you may minimize the work the energy the force the energy and only focusing on this work for the details i have put it on our worksheet uh, next i will explain about the steps so for the steps you have to assess the path simulator side then uh, set the coefficient of friction to frictionless to make it easier for you to analyze the work done to a specific object then you may set the RAM angle to become zero like this, zero degree. If it's if my screen is not clear, you can see it on your worksheet because I have put it there. You may set it uh, into become zero so the so the RAM become like this, become yeah, become straight. Then you may choose any object in the choose object here, choose an object. Menu, you may choose file cabinet, refrigerator, piano, and other object. Then on the controls menu here, you can change the applied force as to your likings. Maybe you want to put it negative, negative value of, new, of forces, or you may put it zero. It's up to you, to your likings. Then you may set the positions of the object freely. You may put it here, or maybe here, or maybe there. Then after that, you may set the prop freely to your liking that ops then observe the graphs and the value of the variable shown on the right of the screen, on the right side of the screen here. And this is for the graph. You may observe both of this. You may pause and retry the experiment to see the value of each variable. You may try, then pause it to see the value. Then after that, you have to write down your observation result in the table that I have uh, provided. Now I will divide you into five groups and you will be given several minutes. I mean, yeah, You're, you will be given several times to do the experiment. Also discuss the questions that I have provided in your worksheets. So you may start the experiment and 
go to your group. Hi, Miss. Hi, Miss. Hello, Miss. Hello, Miss. So, uh, it seems like you're 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 doing the experiment, but I want to ask you which object do you choose in, to observe in this experiment? It's the which, uh, I think file cabinet, Miss. Okay, so your group one choose file cabinet. Okay, that's that's okay. Uh, you may choose any object other than maybe you want to try other object to observe to see the differences or maybe you want to stick with file cabinet is okay that's up to you uh, is there any difficulties actually while doing this experiment yes okay so what is difficulties Roshan? Roshan. yeah uh we struggle to answer the question means okay so Group one, your group is struggling to answer the questions. Um, actually, guys, you may assess uh, some references, either it's online or offline, to help you answering the questions in the worksheets. So you may uh, find something online, or maybe you may open the guidebook that is provided for our school to answer the question, to help you answer the questions. Okay, so group one, before I move to the other groups, uh, I want to make sure this. Do any of you have already tried to do the experiment in in the virtual lab? Have I anyone? already tried it. Okay, so Riri, you I'm also trying. Tried. I'm trying right now. Okay, so uh, to to give some knowledge to you and to give some insights to you, uh, I suggest all of you try the virtual lab experiments. So you can. So it's not only Ibnu who has tried the activity the experiment or maybe only chantik or maybe only zar but i want all of you to try the experiments so thank you group one i will i will move to the other group goodbye okay so it seems like the four group already uh, share uh, already share their presentation their results now i would like to invite the last group group one you may share the screen miss may i share my screen yeah sure i already allowed okay thank you wait a second all right can you all see my screen yes yes all right, now for the first presentation, the presenter is Falinsa. Go ahead, Falinsa. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so we are from the group one, consists of me, Jane, Ibnu, Riai. <laughs> uh, Jane, is your connection okay? Maybe if Jane's connection is not okay, uh, other member may help. Okay, so for uh, we are from group one, who are consists of well, uh, me, Riri, Jane, Chantik, Rosian, and Zar. Okay, so the next presentation will be present by uh, whoever the next person is. Go ahead. Me. So um, the objective. Uh, of our experiment is uh, first explain the concept of work and then we analyze the factors that affect work and then we find the formula of work. Um, for the tools and materials, we need laptop and uh, fat, pad <laughs> for the virtual app. Um, and for the hypothesis, uh, we predict that work is affected directly proportional by forces and displacement. Mm -hmm. And the next will be delivered by uh, Riri. Okay, Riri is here. Can you hear my voice? Yes. Yes, Riri. 
Okay, thank you for responding. So this is our result of the observation that we have currently conducted together. So for the applied work, as you can see, there are like five numbers and also for the applied force, also it's different. And for the initial position, we also place it at different, like the initial position, the bigger one is the number five. And then for the final position, it turns out that the uh, biggest, big, one of the biggest, for the final position is the number three, four, and five. And then for this placement or the final position minus the initial position, it turns out that uh, the bigger or the biggest is the number four. And also it the, the result is very indifferent resulted. So I think that's for the table. Uh, we're going to the next presenter. That would be uh, Roseanne. It's Ibnu. It's, yeah, if not, you may. All right, so it's gonna be my turn. So we already make a graph about our result. As you can see, uh, the first one is that uh, uh, work and applied forces uh, regarding to both of those. Uh, you can see the graph, it's, um, it's, it's, I believe it's linear. Yes, miss? Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's I will, I will clarify later. Okay, okay, so. Yes, for directly proportional, if no. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you, Chanti. So yeah, work and applied forces is directly proportional. And, and fun things that we found out, fun fact that we found out that uh, work and displacement also directly proportional regarding to that. So that's all from me. Thank you. Next person will be explained. Can you hear my voice? Yes, Roshan, it's very clear, crystal, crystal clear. Okay, for uh, the question and the conclusion is what happened to the graph? when the apply force is zero N, and what does the graph mean? So the graph will show a straight line and X and O, meaning that the work is a zero joule. And what happened to the graph when there are no changes between the initial position and the final position? So what does the graph mean? So the graph will uh, show as a straight line on X and zero, meaning that the work is uh, zero joule. So based on your experiment, please explain the relationship between apply force and work. So the answer is apply force is directly proportional with the work. And last question is based on your experiments, please explain the relationship between displacement and work. For the answer, displacement is directly proportional with the work. So we got the conclusion. There are two factors that affect value of work, apply force and displacement. So both applied force and displacement are directly proportional with the work. So the formula of work is shows as below. Okay, that's all. Okay, so thank you, group one. That's a very excellent presentation and a very excellent results. Uh, Riri, sorry, may you share the screen? Because I'd like to verify the results of your experiment. Okay, uh, Riri, please move to the graph one. Okay, thank you. Okay, so class, what group one uh, explain here? What group one uh, show us what group one answer here is very, very excellent because they show the graph of work and also applied forces and work and displacement. As we can see in these two graphs, as Ibnu said and Chantik said, that the, the work is directly proportional with the applied forces and work is also directly proportional with the displacements. So if if we're being asked uh, if the work is higher, will the applied force is higher or lower? Can anyone answer? According to this, according to this graph, if the work is high, will the applied force is high or low? Or low? 
Hi, Hi Miss. Yes, thank you, Roshan and Riri. Right. Um, if the work is high, then the applied forces will be, will also be high, be high. And also for the displacement, if the work is high, the displacement will also be high. Okay, next, Riri, may you show us the conclusion? Okay, thank you, Riri. So the conclusions and the answers from group one for this worksheet for these experiments is very excellent are very excellent i really like the short answer the brief answer but also very clear uh yet very clear answers so thank you really you may you may stop the screen sharing okay class now we have we have seen we have heard the presentations from five groups about their work regarding to this experiment. Uh, does anyone want to conclude the, the uh, conclude today's class, today's science class? I want to conclude it, Miss. Okay, sure. You may conclude it. You may state your conclusions, Riri. Okay, in my opinion, for today's learning, the conclusion is the bigger the work, the bigger the applied force, according to the graph that we previously made, I think. Yes. Okay, that's all, that all for me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Riri. That's very excellent conclusions. So I will add some more. So since the objectives of today's science class is to know what is work, so I will give the summaries. Work is actually affected by several factors, or in this case, by two factors. The first one is forces, and the second one is displacements. Meaning that a phenomenon is considered as work if there are forces and displacement. Okay, so if the phenomenon doesn't have a forces, doesn't doesn't have an applied forces, or they then they don't move at all, it means that the phenomenon is not considered as work because there is no forces and displacement. Then the next summary, the next point is the value of work can be calculated by multiplying force and displacement. As we can see in the screen, W equals to F times S. W for work or the unit is Joule, F for force, the unit is Newton, and S for displacement and the unit is matter. So that's for today's Conclusion for, uh, for the summary of today's class. Um, before I move to the next next slide, I'd like to ask you: How do you feel about today's class? About the experiment, about everything, about the video of Paula doing some work. So, does anyone want to give your feedback? How do you feel? on today's class. Hi, Miss. Sure, Jane. So, uh, for today's uh, session, I think it's kind of pretty fun. Okay. So, thank you for the knowledge, Miss. Okay. So, thank you, uh, Jane, for the feedback. You think that today's class is very fun. And I also feel the same. I also feel um, sharing my knowledge with you and getting knowledge with you, getting some insights with uh, from you is very fun and exciting. And since we also uh, already got the excitement, already got the insights, already got the knowledge, I think you guys are ready to take the quiz. But uh, don't, don't worry. Yes, yeah, you know, you, you don't have to be shocked like that because don't worry, this quiz, uh, the deadline for this quiz uh, is on today's midnight on 23.59. So you may take your time to learn, you may take your time to read more about the work based on the results of your friend. And the quiz can be assessed in our Google Classrooms. So that's all for today's. Uh, before we end up the class, we may um, we may say Alhamdulillah uh, Alamin because of the blessings from God, because the blessings from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We can conduct this class uh, without any problems. So that's all for today. 
see you again next week. Don't forget to upload the results of your presentations, the result of your experiment, and also do the quiz. The, de the deadline is today's midnight. Um, that's all. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.